when we did our white coats, we take that oath, right, the Hippocratic oath, do no harm, help others. That's actually really long. But, um, the, and that, that has a lot of meaning for me. I'm, this is what I'm dedicating my life to doing, is helping others and, and healing. But the system has failed, right? Inequities, inequities in our healthcare system prevent, healthcare barriers prevent everyone in this country from receiving basic medical care. The, the, another reason it's important to, to have folks that understand patient care and the healthcare system in Congress is because the Congress is passing these huge bills, 2,800 pages. What's all that fluff? <coughs> That's CEOs making $128 million a year and having three jets on standby. Um, um, the VA system currently can negotiate with drug companies to bring down those rates for our vets. Why can't we do that for the tens of millions of seniors, mostly on fixed incomes in Medicare? How many people would have been or are for a single payer Medicare at all? <coughs> I'm just wondering how many, how many people feel like this. Because I, I have this feeling that our representatives um, are not representing us, and that we're Democrats, and we're not Republicans. And, uh, you know, um, ACA is also a Republican, it's Romney, we know that. It's Massachusetts, which was, which was a Republican. So, don't, we're, we're Democrats here. So you can talk to us about gun control and be for it. You know, I think most everybody in this room understands that Arizona needs some sane gun, not, not take away everybody's gun, but the Second Amendment was during the Revolutionary War, and it was for the purposes of a militia. It was not for the purpose of everybody having AK-47. Mm -hmm. So we, we need to rethink, we're Democrats here. Talk to us like a Democrat. That, that's, um, I'm... No, that's, that's, I appreciate that. Well said, Alex. So, and honestly, what, what I will say to the, your first point, and thank you for your show of hands, um, the uh, single-payer models are the most efficient and do a very, very good job of making sure that there's a basic level of medical care provided to all the citizens of that country and most every other country that's um, industrialized aside from ours. Now, I think as to, to add to the Affordable Care Act, if we find, hey, there's still 12, 15 million people that aren't getting covered, we need to figure out ways to, to do, do something about that. Okay, we need to look at um, you know, changing things around with Medicare a bit to maybe allow an early buy-in, to allow to, 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 you know, we need to make those changes then and consider all options. But uh, I don't want to toss this thing, it's been, it's been so hard to get there. The, the enormous cuts to Medicaid that I have to watch the Republicans and Jan Brewer do to the state and to the healthcare system put at risk every single critical access hospital in this county. Everyone. Perhaps not so much Sierra Vista because of the base is right here and that, that will, that's going to be fine. But Douglas, Wilcox, Benson, big job. Half a billion dollars in cuts to our Medicaid system resulted in all sorts of uh, charge offs by hospitals. It is, it is taxpayer dollars, but it is also jobs. And in this community, obviously, we have the base. But in a lot of rural communities, who is the biggest, or what is the biggest employer? Hospitals, right? Nurses, doctors, pharmacists, techs, everyone. Uh, that is, those are skilled, good paying jobs that are not outsourceable because you can't take my blood pressure well, you sort of can't. Really well, you can. <laughs> it's, it's tricky. Uh, it requires an internet connection. And, well, so that's, that, is, that is really important. And, and that's $500 million that cuts back in 2011. We're still seeing the repercussions of it. I don't know if many of you know this, but the, the Crondelet had to close the Tucson Heart Hospital. And a lot of the cardiac uh, functions are being squashed into St. Mary's, but I've talked to doctors and nurses, 75% are probably not going to have a job. You know, they're, they're not, it's not, it's gonna be a net job loss. Why? Governor Brewer. Governor Brewer and the Republicans, we've got to balance the budget. I agree, fiscal responsibility. But if you do that by destroying our healthcare and emergency infrastructure, 
first of all, you're getting rid of jobs. And if a hospital closes in a rural community, it's over, right? If you're not gonna get that hospital back probably ever, the, those nurses and doctors and pharmacists are not going to come back to the community and they're gonna leave and it's gonna be a really, really adverse outcome. So that's why I'm so concerned about that Medicaid expansion being left up to individual states and when, if you elect me when I get there, I will fight to continue to incentivize and uh, pull more states into, into that expanded Medicaid uh, situation. 